All right, oil pump finally showed up for this. Uh, <clears throat> oh my god, this thing over here. Uh, uh, this blue thing. Ow. So, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the pump in this, and then hopefully that takes care of that weird noise. Uh, it was having like, oh, I've never had one do that, so uh, I'm not really sure. I hope this is it. Looks, here's the uh, the old and new one. So this is the old one. Well, the new old one. Sorry. <laughs> so this is new and this is new. Sound about the same. Not new. The new one sounds like that. Old one sounds like that. I mean, I, when I go like this, I'm not sure if it's just kind of hydro locking. But when I do this, this one kind of binds up sometimes. I'm not really sure. They both appear to have the same amount of teeth. They look identical. Uh, just flip it over. I mean, everything looks exactly the same. It's a different part number. Um, I'm not really sure. All right, yep, so we get started on that, I guess. the oil pump in and noise is no longer present god damn this is bright um i'm not sure so i fixed that coolant leak not i think that's fresh i was looking up there and i'm gonna be pretty bummed out if it's still leaking i was trying to see it but you just you can't see anything on these cars i put my hand up there and i can't see I, like what i thought it was is that something right there yeah but like you can't see anything um, so, I don't know, I'm, I know it's, I'm praying that it's just from before when I fixed it, but I know it's not, it's, it's, life hits me sometimes, and that's just what it's gonna be. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble the fender liner and stuff, uh, and yeah, cool, and then drive it, I guess. Alrighty, garage is a disaster. I got sheetrock here, my bench is a mess, and all my tools are over. The floor is hella slippery. It's just been, the blue car's gone for now. Who knows what's gonna happen. That thing has just been a pain in my arse. Um, and so now I have my buddies. Why is this so blown out? Oops. Um, I got my buddies GTI Mark 7 here. Uh, the, I don't know, for whatever reason, the adjusters or like the solenoids that like are ticking hell loud and the engine like died on him and has cam faults. I don't think it's a cam sensor. What's everybody saying? I, I never see cam sensors fail. I'm not saying never, but it's pretty rare. Like, especially on that new of a car, I see crank sensors fail. But on a, what year is the car? I don't even know what the year of the car is. 16, 17, 15, whatever. It's not gonna have a bad cam sensor. Maybe, maybe not. So I had him order the magnets because when I was, I had it and you could hear him like tapping hell loud. And then um, you could hear him tapping hell loud. And so I unplugged one and then the noise would go away. I was like, I don't know, maybe it's these cam magnets fail. 
It seems like I see those fail all the time. They just do they push on the little thingy in the on the cam. <laughs> um, so I replaced those and it's still making the noise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain the oil, inspect it for anything. Um, I don't know, plot like something gnarly in there. So, but for now, clean the garage. All right, we got the GTI in here, so it's nice and quiet. Now, and it's all, that's all messy for me. Um, pretty, pretty standard, but once it gets hot is when it really starts making a, a fuss. So I'm gonna let it warm up and then drain the oil, I guess, and uh, see what comes out of it. I think he left me an oil change kit, so I'll go ahead and rack it and then get ready to drain the oil. All right, so you can kind of hear the noise now. Let me see how rough it is. You can hear these. And you can feel it in there too. When I unplug them, that's when the noise goes away. Watch. So I already replaced these thinking that was it, but. And it stops for a little bit, and then once you let it idle, there it goes. And unplug one. Noise stops. It's almost like it's got low oil pressure or something. It's not allowing it to go back the other way. And then it's super loud when you're driving. You can hear it when you're driving. So I cleaned up an oil bucket that has no crap in it and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drain the oil now and see what I find. If it's just an oil change or not, I guess we'll find out. So it looks like this thing definitely has a pretty bad oil leak. Oh, well, maybe his oil pan gasket. Oh, it's from something way up there. Can't really tell. Uh, I guess. Damn, it's everywhere. I can't tell what's leaking. It looks like it's the oil pan. Alright, time to new oil. Uh, let me find it somewhere to clamp it. Clampy clamp. So the only thing I noticed was there's a giant oil leak. Um, so I'm gonna throw this on, and then I'm probably gonna take it to work and just pressure wash it underneath the car because I can't tell where it was leaking from. I think it might have just been this gasket leaking down, but I'll have to pressure wash it and find out. So for now, I'm just gonna do the oil change and see if that changes anything. And if that doesn't change anything, then I think this thing's got another issue. I'm gonna have to get the VAGCOM out and scan it and see what I can see what I can see so for now let's clamp this biatch okay but yeah for now that's I'm gonna fill it up and see what happens okay update on the GTI um it's looking at the okay I'm not to sleep that's cool um I don't know it restarted because stupid windows update uh oh right I checked the timing chain uh I thought it might have been the timing chain was stretched and I almost feel like it still is. It did the oil change, it didn't make a difference. It's like diesel, and it sounds like it's like a <laughs> uh, super loud at idle. It's only idle. It's almost like there's a control valve that controls the squirters at idle and the high pressure. And I wonder if that's bad. Yeah, one of them's leaking. One of the oh wow, I was talking to nobody. Cool. Um, check the timing tensioner has four rings on it showing. If seven, then it's bad. So that's good, it only has four. I checked VCDS, the timing, and it says if it's more than five degrees for the 
adaptation for the intake cam, then it's no good. So mine's at three and a half on this one. God damn, Windows update, I hate you. Um, so, I've kind of had nowhere to go yet. I'm still checking stuff. Um, I, uh, I don't think it's oil pressure, but I have to dump out the oil from the bucket that I kept caught as oil in, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, and I'm gonna see if I find anything at the bottom. Okay, so I put it back together and I had to record it on video. So inside here, there's the spool valve that goes, that this magnet pushes on, and that's what adjusts the cam on this one and this one. So when I unplug this, that like that noise would go away. So I thought it was a magnet. <clears throat> it turns out I pulled that thing out and on the old ones, they used to just like shoot out the end and then go inside the camshaft and they would just bounce around, it's fine. But this one, I couldn't really take it all the way apart, but there's like something inside it and you can see it was like cracked and chipped away. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna have my buddy order Two of those, I'm gonna do the exhaust and the intake at the same time, as well be right there. And this car has 150K on it. Um, so that should be it. So what I did is I threw it back together. I'll show you guys once I get it apart, once he orders the part and get it here. So what I'm gonna do now, since I can fix that in my driveway, most likely, um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick, pull the Audi in the wagon. That's right, going old school. Uh, I'm gonna start tearing into that and get that front end off and the engine out. Exciting. All right, peace out.